Good morning and hello, I'm Fesco and this is the Forex Supermodel Racing Review and Forex Briefing for Thursday the 16th of February 2023. Uh, we had no racing yesterday so the account static at, uh, at a peak pretty much for us, plus 73 units in profit overall. Um, we've got a race of interest today, uh, the racing is pretty scrappy again, but uh, anyway, Sandown National Hunt 335, just grab this, uh, it's a... Uh, it's so a novice hurdle, class four, four-year-old plus one mile, seven two sixteen yards. So that's uh, two miles, uh, good to soft. Uh, and uh, Sandown is modelled about fourteen twenty, which is neutral to slow as a surface pace profile for us. Uh, but there's a stiff uphill finish. So that's something to bear in mind. Now uh, there's eight in the race. There's three basically in the betting. Uh, we've got this um, odds-on favourite, which is number four, Immortal, uh, which has had had a run at uh, Sandown in novice hurdle, two miles. Uh, subsequently had a wind operation which is uh, not necessarily a good sign either uh, uh, and the uh, and the winner of that race is uh, is uh, rated uh, uh, 132 on the official scale uh, and our horse uh, this what well, this one immortal is uh, is uh, is is just behind that so uh, we'll fair bit behind that so um, uh, that that's that one uh, it's it's a grey horse. If you watch the replay, it looks quite scopy. It's got potential, obviously. Uh, and then the the next one in the betting is this number one, uh, Jiv, Jiviga, uh, which um, which has uh, been in points initially. Uh, Lingfield National Hunt Flat, uh, which is model fourteen point five three, which is a bit slower. Uh, Fontwell uh, two two miles. Uh, and half a furlong, good to soft, uh, model a fair bit slow again, 14.39, and Warwick uh, pulled up two mile five, heavy, 14.29, so so, uh, so this um, number one second favourite, uh, Javiga, uh, has been operating on slower surfaces, uh, but then you've got the sand down hill to take into consideration, so, uh, and the final one is this, uh, it's Mamoon Star, which is 11 to 2, uh, which, which you know might have been an ideal uh, each way, uh, but it, but it's quite possibly likely to be outgunned, but it's marginal as well. So uh, so really we can't do much with that race, but uh, but if you're having a go, that that information may help you out anyway. So uh, from the forex front, um, yesterday uh, was interesting. Uh, we had some soft uh, GBP uh, uh, UK uh, data. Um, the Euro uh, GBP got, got punched up off the back of it uh, and then so that you had this spike uh, which took us up to about 0.850 and change uh, and then now that's something we like to see then you got this spike and then then you had this choppy trading uh, dirging up as um, other traders short-term traders and uh, less uh, less informed traders are joining the party, and they're just chipping it up um, off the back of uh, the guards' uh, comments, uh, and uh, generally uh, off the back of uh, making a little bit of uh, money off the back of this um, uh, weaker GBP data which came out. But uh, but the key thing here is we've got a window here. We've got no GBP uh, data today. We've got uh, some early in the morning tomorrow, Friday, 0700. The likelihood is, is that the market will return to this, this, uh, this uh, spike, 0.8850 and change. So, so that you're likely to see this is uh, up for grabs, basically, um, those pips. Uh, and we, it briefly put its head about 0.8900. So uh, it came up about 50 points, 52 points off the back of that spike. Uh, and it's now sub that. But uh, we might get a little bit of a ramp up into about uh, uh, 0.8910. Uh, and that would, be, uh, that would be a good shorting position for uh, the return down to the top of the spike. 0.8850 so that's what we're looking at uh, today and that will give you about 50 60 well 50 points uh, to be fair uh, potential profit there um, with limited upside because you're boxed in on this Friday uh, 
uh, data risk for GBP. So that's that today. Uh, we've got um, tier two uh, US uh, employment data uh, and PPI, producer pricing uh, index. So you and we've had uh, very strong, uh, relatively strong CPI, uh, consumer price index and retail sales for the US. So that's what's been driving the dollar. And if you get the employment end of it strong as well, uh, and the, uh, the producer price inflation strong, then you're gonna see uh, continu continuous strength in the dollar uh, and all the transmissions that go with that. It's likely to be not helpful for uh, risk on equities and, and gold certainly won't like it. So, so that's where we are really. So, so but, but the main thing we're looking at is this uh, potential uh, peak and retracement on the euro pound and the euro pound is modelled uh, volatility at 100 it's the least volatile uh, uh, FX pair of our 28 so you've got good control over that you can have a relatively large not that we're recommending it but, but we can have a relatively larger uh, position size uh, once we get up and if we get up uh, over uh, 0.8900 uh, zero zero again which is likely, uh, then we're in the then we're in the shorting zone for that. To as we say, go back down to this uh, this top of the spike, uh, eight eight fifty. Uh, so anyway, that's where we are. Uh, so hopefully that was useful. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And goodbye.